Top 10 Most Dangerous Animals in Australia Awa, Cuddly Koalas, Wombats, Quokkas, and Kangaroos If that's what you're thinking about when you're making plans for your trip to Australia, you might want to check out this fascinating video. That's right, just another day in Australia, as the saying goes. There is a rationale for the proliferation of memes claiming that everything wants to kill you in Australia there is a good chance that you will not come face to face with any dangerous creatures during your stay, but you will likely hear about them. Number 10. Jellyfish in a box, aka boxfish, sea wasp, fire medusa, or stinger. Even though it doesn't kill swimmers very frequently, the box jellyfish gets a hazard rating of 10 out of 10 almost always. Its venom is claimed to contain toxins that are harmful to the skin, the heart, and the nervous system, making it one of the most dangerous animals on the planet. Northern Australia is the region you should look out for at the most, especially between October and May. It is extremely, very difficult to notice the most dangerous creature known to mankind since it is sea, through and pale blue. This is unfortunate, don't you think? It is reported that the sting causes excruciating pain. It causes nerves to become immobile, disrupts respiration and movement, and a lethal overdose can bring on cardiac arrest and death in a matter of minutes. In Queensland, first responders are trained to deal with such emergencies, and in the meanwhile, you can nearly always locate vinegar on the beach to aid, apparently urine does not work. In Queensland, first responders are also trained to deal with such emergencies. Number 9. Taipan Snake deserts in Australia are home to the most dangerous snake in the world, which is native to that continent. On the plus side, it likes to avoid humans rather than fight them. Just a few people have been bitten by this species, and yes, they have lived. On the downside, this species can be quite dangerous. Despite this, even if you have reliable travel insurance, you probably don't want to put its high venom to the test. Number 8. Crocodiles found in saltwater, aka salties. Crocodiles that live in saltwater can be discovered in the ocean, but they are much more common in estuaries and, on occasion, in freshwater environments. But not in Australia, and especially not in Darwin, where you should take these lovely crocodile warning signs seriously. It used to be historically abundant throughout Southeast Asia, and it's almost exciting to see it in its natural habitat. Salties are enormous creatures that are hostile and hungry for opportunity. They consume both small and large animals, even humans on occasion, but this is an extremely unusual occurrence. 24 deadly attacks between 1975 and 2009. Nevertheless, check that it is safe to swim, and stay away from marshes. Number 7. The Octopus with Blue Rings These small critters the size of balls can bite and are quite poisonous. Yet, you shouldn't touch them because they look great in a fish tank. The sting almost always results in death because it causes the body to shut down, become increasingly paralyzed, and lose the ability to breathe. Even though there is no known anti-venom, it is still feasible to treat a bite. This treatment involves assisting the patient in breathing until the toxin has been eliminated from the body. Number 6. Stonefish. Stonefish are notoriously difficult to identify since they typically stay still and blend in with their surroundings, which is highly inconvenient given their lethal venom and the fact that they can even be fatal to humans. They inhabit the shallow coastal waters of the northern portion of Australia, where they can be found everywhere. Simply try to avoid stepping on them. One of the fish species that is known for its high level of toxicity is the stonefish. Their venomous stings have even been known to cause death in some cases. Stonefish have spines on their dorsal fins that look like needles and they raise them when they feel threatened or when they are disturbed. The glands at the bases of the spines produce neurotoxins, which are then injected by the spines. Even while the sting can sometimes cause excruciating agony, the risk of dying from it is relatively low. It is common practice to stock up on vinegar in areas close to beaches frequented by stonefish since it is supposed to alleviate the excruciating pain caused by a sting. Stonefish are notoriously adept at hiding from humans due to their ability to blend into their surroundings. As their name suggests, they can look a lot like stones. They are frequently stepped on by accident by swimmers, which causes severe stings to be triggered. Number 5. Redback Spider. If you have a normal fear of spiders, you should feel even more uneasy with this particular kind. It is not very large, 
just approximately 1 cm in length, but it is extremely poisonous, and it may be found all over the country. Antivenom has been available since 1956, which means that even if the bite has the potential to be fatal, it rarely is. It is estimated that between 2,000 and 10,000 people are bitten by redback spiders each year. Because of this, redback antivenom is the kind of antivenom that is used the most frequently in Australia to treat people who have been bitten by snakes or spiders. The female of the species, which is larger and more hazardous, is responsible for almost all of the bites that have been documented. Number 4. The Magnificent Great White Shark The world-famous beaches of Australia are a surfer's dream destination. Till you hear a S-H-A-A-R-K. The Great White Shark is a well-known predator, but it gets a bad rap for eating humans. Hollywood had a role in perpetuating this damaging misconception about the shark. Myths are persistent, but the reality is that human activity is continuing to contribute to the mortality of sharks. This is mostly the result of unintentional and illegal catches made during commercial and recreational fishing. A common misconception among sharks is that surfers are turtles or sea lions. Great White Sharks contrary to popular belief, do not actively seek out human prey. They merely have a reputation for doing so. It appears that the majority of the bites they inflict on people are just practice bites. It would appear that they do not enjoy the flavor of humans. In general, they favor prey that is fattier and has fewer bones. You shouldn't avoid going to the beaches of Australia out of fear of shark attacks. There are only approximately five fatal run-ins with wildlife each year over the entire planet. Number 3. Sydney Funnel Web Spider This little spider, measuring just 1 to 5 centimeters in length, likes to hide in dark and damp locations, such as beneath rocks, in logs, or even in your shoes. They have the option of seeking refuge inside residences in New South Wales if the temperature is exceptionally high. Yes, even if you never invited them because the spiders can survive being submerged in water for several hours by trapping air bubbles near their skin. Spiders that have recovered at the bottom of swimming pools may be still alive. The bite can be extremely painful and even fatal, but there is treatment available in the form of antivenom. Number 2. The More Typical Brown Snake The common brown snake is the second most venomous terrestrial snake in the world after the eastern brown snake. It is sometimes known as the eastern brown snake. The venom of the inland taipan is the only one that is more potent. Brown snakes are the only species of snake that are active during the day and are known for their ferocity and speed. When agitated, the snake forms an S-shape with its body and raises its head to a high position. If prompt medical attention is not sought after being bitten by a common brown, the bite can prove lethal. Venom has the potential to bring on symptoms such as vertigo, diarrhea, collapse, convulsions, renal failure, paralysis, and even cardiac arrest. Number 1. Rays with Stingers Stingray attacks in Australia typically result in small cuts, although there have been very rare instances when they have caused fatalities. In Australia, stingray assaults have resulted in the deaths of four people who have been reported. Steve Irwin passed away on September 4, 2006, after being stung by a stingray at Bat Reef, which is located close to Port Douglas. In 1988, a youngster who was 12 years old when he was hit by a stingray that was jumping out of the water passed away six days later owing to the poison from the barb. Do you like this video? Give your valuable response in our comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.